Digital transformation is the most important trend in the financial services industry, which is going to change the industry in a very unique manner. Today, I'm going to talk about the role of the chief risk officer and the opportunities that they have to actually ride this digital transformation. Roy, what are the biggest things that are missing for chief risk officers in their traditional model of risk management as opposed to a digitally transformed universe? So traditionally, the chief risk officers have uh, looked at a lot of lag data. They have looked at a lot of data in very manual formats. And uh, it's like spread across multiple systems, multiple databases. And uh, it makes their life pretty hard, especially in this world when the economy is changing at such a rapid pace. Uh, the digital transformation will be of immense help to them because it will actually help them to get data at their you know fingertips, also see the trends and run some extremely powerful experiments on that data to get more leading indicators because that's the key. Many CROs will claim that although it's easy to digitally transform consumer lending, for commercial or business lending, it's much more difficult. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree with that uh, because in the commercial and business, there are a lot more moving parts. You not only have to look at the personal finances and the personal cash flow of the owners of the business, but you also have to look at the cash flow of the businesses itself and also identify a lot more leading indicators, which are very asynchronous in nature. So that's a hard part. And in the physical world, it's very difficult to do that. CROs now have a bevy of choices when it comes to technology, but where's technology going next? What are CROs really going to face in the technology world in the next five years? Uh, so for CROs, I think this is the best time and also it's a very confusing time also both. It's, it's the best time because, you know, finally there's a lot of technology available which will transform the lives and uh, the visibility that the CROs can get from their own database, from benchmarking data, from running a lot of uh, analysis piece and all that. Why it is also a confusing time is because of the choices out there available. So the key thing that the CROs have to first look at it is that how they have organized their own internal IT infrastructure, especially from database perspective, from customer reporting perspective and ongoing customer data, uh, the analysis piece. Because if that is not rightly done or not rightly organized, then it's almost impossible to run any kind of experiments or data studies or, or, or anything on top of it. In the next five years, the technologies that will transform risk management are going to be bank statement analyzer, which calculates the cash flow in real time, digital site visits, which give a great uh, visualization, you know, to the sites, you know, out there and also image recognition technology on top of it. You know, which helps to you know look at any red flags and also leading indicators you know straight through processing you know 3d uh, underwriting uh, because these are some very important aspects because the customer expectations are going up and at the same point of time uh, as a lender uh, or as a cro you cannot drop your underwriting stand you know cro's are faced with a lot of these technological opportunities but oftentimes they will say that they face many challenges getting them through what are some of the biggest problems when digitally transforming risk management? So one of the things that we have seen is that, you know, budget is a constraint still, you know, there's a lot of issue around, you know, how much I have to spend on my existing legacy stuff and how much I have to spend on the new age stuff. And that's where partnerships become extremely important. And uh, CROs have to play a bigger role in you know, how to forge those partnerships, how to streamline even procurement side of the business, because that's a big challenge for banks to partner with fintechs today you know their own procurement you know stuff because they cannot get out of their own ways you know actually how can cro's really position themselves to play the right role in driving a digital transformation yeah so see cro's traditionally have been looked at risk guys you know who are who have naysayers but i think in the new age cro's can become a revenue generators also you know in a way that they can do better risk based pricing they can control risk better they can increase the names so while I'm not saying that, you know, the CRO should now start going and start selling the products, uh, but at the same point of time, if they are they, if they become smarter and they can make their banks smarter, then it becomes a very good, I would say, opportunity for them to grow the business of their lending institutions in a risk, in a more risk-free environment or a more risk-managed environment. And that's the key. And that clearly means that, that our piece is not only risk, it could also be revenue. My take is that, you know, digital transformation is challenging. Digital transformation requires a lot of effort. 
at the same point of time this is the best opportunity for the CROs to take advantage of this and really help their organizations not only to go digital but also to manage their risks a lot better.